Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining our picks for the top 10 times Karen's faced instant karma. Would you do it again? I think I, I would. I didn't ever feel like she was a threat to me. For this list, we'll be looking at the most entitled, rude, and irrational people who got a sweet taste of justice nearly immediately. Have you experienced a Karen in the wild? Let us know in the comments. Slapstick Karen Sometimes ordering food can go wrong. It happens, and we all move on. But not this woman in 2015. She berated two restaurant employees and tacked on some unwarranted racist comments in her ranting. You eat rude, and if you want to be polite to the customer, okay? If you want to, if you want to, hey, if you want to be polite to the customer, then you speak English. We're not sure what exactly it is that the employees got wrong in her order, but whatever it was, it under no circumstances warrants this behavior. I don't have 15 minutes for you not to know English, not to get it right the first time. You get it right the first time. The customer is always right. We got the classic Karen mantra of the customer is always right before the woman stormed out yelling, get it right the first time. Justice was served on the spot as she smacked right into the door with a delightful thud. America, and you get it right the first time. You get it right the first time. Get it right the first time. Get it right the first time, okay? Ken the Racist In case you're unaware, when men exhibit Karen behavior, they're often referred to as a Ken. Well, a man by the name of Billy Steele certainly fit the criteria when he spewed his toxic prejudice on the London Underground in 2020. Billy Steele, what's your name? Even with other passengers standing up to him, Steele, a white man, wouldn't stop harassing a group of black passengers. Yeah. What does black have to do with anything? What does being black have to do with anything? Shut up. This is popular. As the tube finally arrived at a station, the group got off to exit, and Steele continued trying to intimidate them. <laughs> Luckily, this would be short-lived. One lightning-fast guy clocked the racist with a punch, seemingly knocking him out. After the video went viral, Steele turned himself into the police and reportedly got help for his out-of-sorts comportment. Porch Pirates the term porch pirate might evoke fun imagery involving Blackbeard, but in reality, it's just a crappy thing to do. A truck is making the rounds, delivering everything from light bulbs to kitty litter to the neighborhood's residents. But he's not the only one with a regular schedule. With delivery firms leaving packages outside of front doors more and more frequently, some have made it a practice to swoop in to steal the items. In 2018, one Washington couple saw the chance to grab several packages left on a porch. Cutting across the lawn saves time, but the porch pirate is about to regret taking the shortcut. Caught on security system was the thief attempting to run back to the car with the boxes. Only she slipped and rather gruesomely injured her ankle. Uh-oh, her partner in crime joined to help her to the car, then returned for the loot. After awkwardly carrying her to the car, he returns for his top priority, the stolen merch. You might think the fall alone was some well-deserved karma, but this couple were actually sentenced to some minimal jail time too. Karen the Racist for a time, anyone with Asian heritage in Torrance, California was haunted by Lena Hernandez and her racist tirades. In one video, she verbally attacked a woman exercising in a park. Police confirm Hernandez is connected with three separate incidents in Torrance. The video of her launching an angry racial slur at a young Asian American woman exercising in Wilson Park reached millions. This is not your place. This is not your home. Hernandez uttered plenty of vile comments, and unfortunately, this was not an isolated incident. In several videos, she can be heard mouthing off Asian hate speech. The same day in the same park, Hernandez also verbally attacked a 42-year-old Asian-American man who happened to park his car next to the woman's vehicle. Thankfully, Hernandez's reign of terror eventually came to an end. While this wasn't necessarily instant justice, in 2020, she was sentenced to 45 days in prison for assaulting Casey Lynn Salamino at the Del Amo Fashion Center and had to undergo an anger management course. What she did was violent. It was a violent attack to me. So 
So it should have been the maximum amount of six months. Litterbug Karen. If we were to create a list of the worst people in the world, litterbugs would be up there. Those that lob their garbage out the window of their cars are somehow even more infuriating. In 2021, Ron Boff was traveling to Las Vegas, Nevada with some of his friends. His dashboard camera picked up some sweet karma during traffic that probably made the trip even better. For some reason, the woman driving the Honda Civic in front of him had a problem with the NSX next to her, so she threw her drink at the vehicle. Too busy celebrating her act of vandalism, she didn't realize her lane had stopped in time and ended up rear-ending the car in front. Just beautiful. <laughs> Soho Karen In December 2020, the world was gripped by the events at the Arlo Hotel in Soho, Manhattan. Maya Ponsetto had lost her phone and, on seemingly no grounds, accused a black teenager of stealing it. It's that surveillance video from the Arlo Hotel, Keon Harold's parents say, shows the hotel management mishandled the incident. When Keon Harold Jr. responded that he, in fact, hadn't stole her phone, Ponsetto launched herself at him. As it turned out, she left her iPhone in an Uber. Big yikes. She did herself no favors when interviewed on TV and became increasingly aggressive when asked if the incident was racially motivated. And I'm sorry. Whether they were so bothered by So I would love to your, make this short and sweet, Gail. Mia, Mia. I want to go back to that day. Take us back to that day. In April 2022, Ponsetto pleaded guilty to the hate crime. She was told to complete probation from a different conviction and finish counseling. Now, she avoided jail time, but she must stay out of trouble for two years. Super Nanny. On most people's last day at a job, they might get a cake, a half-hearted speech from the boss, and some pats on the back from fellow colleagues. Kate Anderson's final day as a nanny, however, was far more eventful. This may look like an ordinary package theft until a Snohomish County nanny took matters into her own hands. The house surveillance system caught a package delivery left outside that contained gifts for the house's infant. Of course, one woman saw the chance to steal these boxes. I actually saw her like bending over and picking it up. And they have a lot of packages, and I, I knew, I was like, oh my gosh, she's, that's not, she's taking that. And so I just took off after her. What she didn't know was that Anderson was some kind of super heroine in the making. And she ran the thief down, grabbed hold of her, and escorted her back inside for the cops to deal with. About eight minutes later, the Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies arrive and arrest the woman. Coughing Karen. The emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic was scary, but most of all for those with compromised immune systems. While most people did their best to limit exposure and be respectful of others, some decided this was too inconvenient. Sprague was wearing a protective mask. Hunter was not. And when she realized she was being recorded, she was not happy. In 2020, at a Pier 1 store in Florida, Heather Sprague, who was undergoing treatment for a brain tumor, was looking to shop safely. Instead, she met Deborah Hunter, who refused to comply with regulations. When Sprague confronted her, Hunter, without a mask, walked up and coughed on her. I think I'll get real close to you and cough on you then. How's that? <coughs> oh, wow. Hunter was later sentenced to 30 days in jail and six months of probation, fined $500, and told to cover the cost of Sprague's tests. She was also made to attend anger management and succumb to a mental health evaluation. I will adjudicate you guilty, place you on six months probation, also anger management, and um, 30 days Duval County Jail, regret credit for one day. Boo-hoo Karen. If there's one stereotype about Karens that everyone knows, it's demanding to speak to the manager. But weirdly, it's not all that common on video. Enter Tara Ann Blues. He threw me to the ground! In 2021, she was recorded screaming at security at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Reportedly, she tried to rush the doors after being denied boarding. When she called on others to corroborate her version of events, only for them to disagree with her, she demanded to speak to the manager of the airport. I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed to. And, I saw him push you out and it didn't work out for her. 
Instead, Blues was arrested for her disturbance and for holding enough medications to run a small pharmacy. Cops also found a leafy green substance on her person. Uh-oh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The Astronaut The plague of Karen can even grip NASA astronauts. Having been on board Discovery in 2006 as a robotics expert, Lisa Nowak lost her way in 2007. Lisa Nowak is a star of the U.S. space program. Like all astronauts, she's an American hero of epic proportions. Allegedly strapping on a NASA diaper for a 900-mile journey alongside a disguise and a host of weapons, Nowak arrived at an airport in Orlando, Florida to confront her ex's new girlfriend. Nowak argued with her, then pepper sprayed her. I really thought for sure she was going to, you know, murder me and, you know, I didn't want to say it, so. The astronaut eventually pleaded guilty to some of the lesser charges. Nowak received a year of probation and 50 hours of community service, among other penalties and forced amendments. Afterward, Nowak was dropped by NASA and got a other than honorable discharge from the Navy. The disgraced well, astronaut pled guilty and was sentenced to just two days in jail and a year of probation. Her days in space were over. NASA fired her. The crime continues to haunt Colleen, even in her new life in Alaska. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.